How does the Valuation Office Agency measure your property for business rates purposes? We use two standard methods to measure properties for business rates. We normally use the Net Internal Area, or the NIA, for shops and offices. We use the Gross Internal Area, or the GIA, for industrial units like warehouses and factories. The method used does not affect how high or how low your rateable value is. The same method of measurement is used throughout the valuation process for the same property type. So, what's the difference between net and gross internal area? The net internal area is the usable area inside a building. It excludes things like staff toilets, cleaning cupboards, columns, and stairwells. Most small and medium sized offices and shops are measured using net internal area. If you have a shop, you may also want to watch our video on retail zoning. Let's switch to the gross internal area. The gross internal area measures the whole enclosed area of the building within the external walls, including walls and partitions. This includes toilets, columns, lift wells and the like. It excludes outside areas like balconies, fire escapes and parking areas, as well as internal areas with a ceiling height of less than one and a half metres. Quite often we'll divide up the overall gross internal area, so we have separate measurements for parts of the building that are of a different quality or are put to a different use. For example, we'll generally separate the production area and admin offices within a factory. You can check how your property's valuation has been calculated by looking it up on our online service, gov.uk forward slash find dash business dash rates. Finally, you can be assured our staff are professionally trained and comply with the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors Code of Measuring Practice.